Good morning, children. How you doing? So I'm going to show you the new Apollo by Universal Audio. My name is Fab. I'm a music producer and mixer. I make records in New York City. I have a studio called Flux. And the good people at UA were kind enough to send me the very first box that worked and said, you know what, why don't you check it out? And I said, well, that's a fantastic idea. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play you a video so you have a context of what happened. I got the box. I set it up on a little rack. I plugged everybody in. And then we did this. We just put the headphones on and played, and it felt great. I've been crying, but none of my tears will know. Well, I've been crying, and who I've been crying for. Time sticking, and my lips can't find the lack. Eyes drowning from lies that you hear, and that the sounding that long. This is not science fiction. What you're seeing and what you're hearing are the same thing. You're hearing what we recorded that day. Everybody live in the room, everybody plugged into the Apollo and the 4710 preamp. There's no smoke and mirrors. This is the actual sound of the actual box. And I'm playing it back through the actual box. And I'm going to show you that. The Apollo is an audio interface. An audio interface is when you need to go to and from your computer and make music. You use Pro Tools, you use Logic, you use Cubase, you use Performer, you use Cool Edit Pro if you're old school. Whatever you use software-wise, you're going to need an interface to get in and out of the computer. This does that. It's a FireWire interface. In the summer, it's going to be a Thunderbolt interface. Thunderbolt is the future of audio. I'm personally very excited because I like to travel. So I want to be able to make records with a laptop and a Thunderbolt interface, which is this very interface, for example. So it's an audio interface. It's a converter. It's an A2D and a D2A. You got eight channels on the way in and 10 channels on the way out, which is very smart. You get eight channels to make music, and then two channels for your monitoring section. And you have here your volume knob. So basically, you need this, a computer, and a pair of speakers, and you can make a record. There's lots of audio interfaces. This one is special because, A, it's super high quality conversion. The whole point about this is that the conversion is extremely high quality, so you do not need any other high-end converter to get good quality sound in and out of your computer. The twist here is that not only is it an interface, and a converter, it's also the processing unit. It has a built-in UAD quad or UAD duo card. So for those of you who are familiar with the system, you know what that is. For the rest of you, the idea here is you get all the processing you need to make a record within the box. The UAD plugins are the highest quality plugins in the business. They sound amazing. So that session I did with my old 2006 MacBook Pro, which is on its last leg. And I plug in Firewire into this box, and we did this track you just heard. I'm showing you the setup we had. So you see we had four microphones on the drums, just a regular run-of-the-mill Bayer M88 in the bass drum, an SM57 on the snare drum, a pair of Lauten uh, condenser uh, on the overheads, a 421 on the conga, and, and then just a little bit of a audix just for the vocals so we could hear the structure. The bass is plugging direct into the high Z input here, and the wordy also is plugging direct into the high Z input here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play you the tracks. The drums I decided to keep raw so that you can understand what the box sounds like with no processing whatsoever. All right, so let me do some soloing. These are the raw drums. Let me mute. This is just four microphones on the drums. No compression, no EQ, just raw. These preamps and these converters are incredibly fast. If I play you the bass drum, that's just one microphone through the built-in preamp of the Apollo. 
through the converter of the Apollo and you're listening to it through the converters of the Apollo. It's pretty crazy. Listen to this snare drum. There's no compression, there's no nothing. It's just a very well recorded snare drum. How is this possible? The key here is the preamp and the converter are incredibly clean. Their idea, which I think is pretty smart, is to keep everything super transparent, super clean, not give it a color. Why? Because you can process your audio on the way in with the plugins. This is the new UAD console. What this is, it's a visual rendition of what's going on inside the box. Every channel here is an input. So you have your four analog inputs. They can be mic pre's, line ins, and for the first two, they can also be DI. And then you have your other four analog inputs. They can be plus four or minus 10. And then you have eight digital inputs in ADAT format and two digital inputs in SPDIF format. So it's a full featured input system. And then in line, you have your inserts. Let me show you. I'm going to unmute this. I just plugged my little arteria in it. Sounds good. Check out the filter. Super smooth. So here's my little keyboard, and I plugged it straight into the DI. Everybody still with me? All right, good. In a production environment, traditionally what you would do, you would take that cable and then probably want to put some effects on it so you have your own sound, something cool. So maybe you would go through a pedal or some distortion or maybe through an, uh, some hardware like this box right here. You know, make your selection through this $30,000 worth of equipment right here. Um, so for example, here there's a Dimension D. I think this sound would be perfect through a Dimension D with a little cheesy 80s vibe to it, right? So I can take that cable, go through the Dimension D, go through an EQ, go through a converter and get back into this. Or I can do this. I can go in my inserts and say, you know, I want to roll in Dimension D. And then I'm going to use all buttons like this. And here I have it on the way in. No latency. No latency. No latency at all. This is a big deal. Let, let me make it very, very clear. Let's add, say, this. All right? No latency. There's no latency. And how about a little bit of an echo on top of it, just like this? OK. So now I have three plugins in a row on this thing, and the feel doesn't change. This is real time. It's the same as if I were using hardware. This is science fiction, people. So I can now do this, switch to Pro Tools, hit record on the track, and I'm recording right here. And because this is very smart and it supports low latency monitoring, I don't hear the double sound. Pro Tools not, knows not to monitor what I'm recording until I get off record. This is very, very smart. So I'd like to make some music, and I'd like to um, have a vocalist come. So we have the unbelievable, fascinating Lisa Colby. You're clapping now, just you wait. So I'm going to listen to her sing, and then I'm going to try and enhance, enhance it the best I can with the plugins in real time. Here we go. Ding dong, ding dong. That sounds good. Ding dong, ding dong. Little EQ. I've been trying to find my way back home. Little less. Back home. Little 220. Open eyed, but still lost in this little world. Little high pass. Alone. Maybe a little compression. I've been crying, but none of my tears will. Oh, well, I've been crying That's and nice. who I've been crying for. Uh, this is ridiculous. First, she's ridiculous. Lisa Colby, ladies and gentlemen. And second, I have never been able to work like this with these plugins before. These plugins sound really, really, really great. Check this out. If I go back to Pro Tools and I press play, this, ladies and gentlemen. I've been trying to find my way back home. Is a treacher recording? Open yeah. still lost in this world alone. And in the track. I've been crying, but none of my tears will know. Oh, well, I've been crying, and who I've been crying for. Any complaints? No, thank you. This is where the science fiction meets reality. So now we track this track in this high-level environment. And I'm going to mix the song. So, for example, maybe I want to put a little reverb on her vocal. Maybe I want to you know, do some processing. As you see in my session right here, I already have some plugins. Those plugins that are here are UAD plugins. See, the beauty of the box is you have a UAD quad in it. If you have a UAD quad, you know what you can do with it. You can put plugins on your session, no matter what your DAW is. 
This lets you do both. You can do the real-time stuff I just showed you, and then you can mix your record all with one box. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring Lysa back, because that is the most interesting part of this whole thing. Here we go. Ding dong, ding dong. That's good. Ding dong, ding dong. I've been trying to find my way back home. Open I but still lost in this world. Long. I've been crying, but none of my tears will know. Well, I've been crying and who I've been crying for. Time's ticking. And my lips can't find the lack. I was drowned in from lies that you hear. 